verse 3, is the earthly sacrifices reminded us where Jesus sacrificed for our sins, cleanses us once and for all, and we do not have to stay there in our sins. This guilt conscience that we, and I just talked about this, but I'm going to say it again because it's so very important. Um, this guilt that we're constantly feeling for these past God that we've asked him to forgive us for, God has forgotten. And um, it's Satan who's out here, you know, reminding us over and over and over again of our past. Jesus has blotted that out. And he's done it for his own sake. Not just for ourselves, he's done it for himself. He doesn't, so he doesn't have to remember that anymore. It's gone. So you guys, it's gone. <laughs> and you can rest in that. And if you can go every day through, I mean, we sin. You know, it's in our thoughts, in our actions, in 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 and uh, not in some actions that we don't take, disobedience to him. But we can rest in the victory that he did at the cross when we come to him in repentance, because it's not a, we're not talking about habitual sin here, where we're willfully sinning over and over again. We're coming to him in repentance saying, Jesus, please forgive me for my, for my sins. He does that. And we can rest in that. We can have victory in that. We don't have to prevail in that you know he has forgiven us and we can we can rest in that we can believe in that we can take hold in that something very important because i know that there's some of us out there who are weighted down by our sins that jesus has taken care of once and for all and it's a trick that satan hangs over us that we do not have to be underneath so I belabored that point just a little bit. It's a very important one. <laughs> well, I, I really like uh, Romans 8, 2, um, which tells us that we, let me see if I can tell you what it says. Hold on. Uh, Romans 8, 2 says that the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. So, that's that is the whole crux of it right there is that we are no longer in bondage to death I mean, we through christ he gives us life giving through the spirit it it's just life giving and eight one says we are no longer any under any condemnation even yes. better <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what i was trying to get oh that's right before that it says Guilt, uh, free from guilt and sin of sin. Yes. Thank you. I really hold on to that one. I am under no condemnation, you know, for those who walk in the spirit. That's me. You know, I'm not, I've let go of this. That's a lot of other thing I like to remind everybody of. I've let go of this old man sin. You know, I let him go. I'm over here now. I am, I am in no longer in the flesh. I'm in the spirit and I'm no longer under condemnation. 